here's where we left off uh, for part one. I uh, just had the sink sitting in the, uh, the carcass of the cabinet here. So the next step I want to do is we're actually going to put a lip um, underneath the sink, uh, which you'll see in a little bit here. Um, but I want to do it out of wood. The cabinet's going to be painted, but this is going to be uh, made out of chestnut oak. Uh, which is a white oak that I milled uh, off of my homemade bandsaw mill. So it's going to be sort of a neat uh, neat feature of this cabinet. So we're going to go ahead and, and get that uh, dimensioned here. So we're starting with rough lumber and we need to uh, dimension it to the, the proper size. So after cross cutting, the next step I do is use my straight line jig for the uh, table saw in order to cut away the one live edge from the uh, piece. And then what I'm going to do is flip it around and use that straight edge on the table saw fence to make the next cut in order to get rid of the live edge since I don't need that for this project. Next I'll take the piece over to the joiner to make one face flat. Do a couple of passes here until I'm satisfied with how flat the piece is. Um, it's amazing just to see how much different the piece looks after uh, using it on the joiner and making that face flat. I can now put the flat face down and go over to the planer to make the top face flat. And then cut off the uh, edges again on the uh, table saw now that I have a flat plane to reference uh, with the table saw fence and table. So now you can see my layout lines for the actual piece. So I need to shorten the piece as well as round over those uh, corners. So here I'm cross cutting the piece to width. So in order to uh, round the edges, I took the uh, piece onto my oscillating sander. Um, I actually took it to the uh, bandsaw first to uh, just do a rough cut to save me some sanding time. This piece actually turned out really nice. Corners are actually really cool. See the wood grain kind of curve around the corner. So once that was done, I took um, and made some pocket holes to attach that front piece there. You can see here uh, the piece is attached. It looks uh, actually very nice. It's going to be hard to see on the camera, but the sink actually is tapered down. If you drew a straight line down, it would look like this. Uh, but the sink's tapered. So what I did was I clamped, clamped this piece here and uh, drew a line flush with the top of the sink. I'm going to cut there. Drew a line flush with the bottom of this uh, tray I added. I'm going to cut that because that's not going to be exactly straight since this board is on an angle now. I'm actually going to get in here with a flush, uh, flush trim router to make that taper. Another way you could do this is a tapering jig or uh, with the circular saw, which I tried, but I just can't get um, accurate enough of a cut to make that seam look okay. So you'll actually see a lot better get a lot better idea of what I'm talking about from this angle here. You see that's the profile of the taper. So I'm going to make those cross cuts and then use the uh, flush trim bit to uh, trim that off.
next step is to make the doors. Uh, I'm cutting the uh, plywood down on the table saw here to the uh, proper size. Now that the uh, plywood is the proper size, I have a Craig uh, hinge jig. This actually makes the process a lot easier. Everything's uh, set up for you. Once you, uh, there are a couple settings you just need to change on the uh, jig itself, but uh, much better than doing a freehand. So now I'm cutting out the uh, front of the toe kick. Pretty uh, simple step here, uh, but a lot easier to do now. So here are the upper cabinets I want to go ahead and use. Planning on using, so I'm actually going to match the uh, trim. The shaker pattern here I'm going to match um, on the base cabinet I'm building. I got the measurements off that. I'm going to cut some uh, quarter inch ply um, to match the depth of that that shaker pattern there. And um, I'm just going to glue it on. It'll be the simplest way and, and fill the gaps since we're uh, going to paint it the same color as this. So uh, we'll get that done right here. go ahead and paint the, the base cabinet here except for of course that wood trim piece um, and then we're gonna go ahead and the next video will be of the countertop and once we have the countertop done uh, I'm gonna show a video of the install process so stay tuned for that